Welcome to the Community Collective Podcast. I'm Johnny B. Good, the Flip-Flop Agent, and I've partnered with the Davison Area Chamber of Commerce to bring you the stories that shape our local communities. In our third season, our focus is about connecting, learning, and celebrating the voices that make our communities unique. Join us during this third season as we engage in thoughtful conversations and insightful moments. This podcast is commercial-free and supported by both myself, my co-host, and our guests. We would be so appreciative if you could like, share, and subscribe as we continue having conversations that matter and cannot thank you enough for taking the time to listen. Well, welcome to a new edition of the Community Collective Podcast. I am Travis Howe, the Executive Director of the Davison Area Chamber of Commerce, and we are excited. We always look forward to having guests that are on our podcast, that do so many different things throughout our area, and today's guest is involved with two different business, so I am excited to welcome Olivia McCann with Mr. Chip Cookies and Mr. Chip's Windshield Repair. Olivia, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? Good. So we're kind of like really started off nice and easy. How has your week been? What have you been up to? I mean, I know we get a chance to catch up at so many different community events, whether it's chambers or ribbon cuttings or just other things. So sometimes I'm, I'm always fascinated to hear what else you have going on. Well, you know, this week, I, I just, I didn't have too much other than normal things. I had an ambassador meeting for flushing. I did the Surf Pro March Madness, the ribbon cutting for Austin Michael Institute of Cosmetology. I, I've been to quite a few places this week, but most, this week was pretty cold. So I, I tended to stay in office most days. Yeah. But that's what I've been up to this week. I know. It, you know what? I think there's been a lot of great things that have been fun going mm -hmm. on and I think that's what I think I get excited about when I get to bump into everybody and I've gotten to know the group so well that we when we see each other it's just nice to catch up and I think with the podcast today it's learning more about the businesses you're part of so Olivia managing responsibilities at Mr. Chip's Cookies and Mr. Chip Windshield Repair requires versatility could you share how your experiences in these distinct areas complement each other? And what does your typical day look like when you're out representing both businesses? Yeah, absolutely. I would definitely say that both companies are a huge team effort. I'm just like one cog in the whole machine that keeps it running. My days always look different. And some days I'm just networking and at meetings. Other days I go to insurance companies or dealerships and bring them goodies. In my downtime at the shop, I'm usually answering calls, scheduling, and doing all the billing. Another big thing I try to do regularly is make content, whether that's an Instagram reel, Facebook post, or a live video. I'm also in the process of making an email list for both businesses, and all those things really keep our business running, and we can keep up with the competitors that way. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm sure, too, with it, it's, I mean... Two complete different opposite things. I know we'll kind of get more into that a little bit later, but I mean, managing kind of responsibilities between one thing that is delicious tasting and the other thing is going in and fixing things for people's vehicles or you know, windows in a business. I mean, you're having to really reach out and talk to people on two completely different topics, but I'm sure when I've talked to you, it seems like you really enjoy them. And then you also, when you're taking them goodies, why not bring some fun cookies with them too? Exactly, exactly. And, you know, you wouldn't think that cookies and chip repairs and windshield replacements and auto glass, all that stuff, they don't go together, you would think. But actually, we started the cookie company at first to bring cookies to our clients for the windshield repair company. That's how Mr. Cookie, Mr. Chip Cookie Co. started. Oh. It was for the glass repair business and since then it's just took off and my slogan is what i say is you don't want chips in your windshield we want chips in your cookies so <laughs> that is amazing and you know what i couldn't agree more with that i fully support that uh, slogan right there so i mean that's that's a great idea so now i know you're part of a team so kind of fill mm -hmm. me in who all is involved with these businesses i mean 
like you said, you're just one member of this great team that's out there. Yeah, so both businesses are family owned and operated and all of our employees are friends and family. That includes myself. I've known Bill and Ellen, who are the owners, since I was nine years old. Their oldest daughter is my childhood best friend. So yeah, it's a very family-oriented business, and we just try to stay within our communities, surround our community and surrounding areas. But yeah, it's uh, it's definitely been a team effort, and it's taken off a lot, and we've. We're so grateful to have so many friends and family that are willing to come work for us and help us out. Yeah. Okay. So if someone's sitting here listening and they're like, okay, where can I get some of these delicious cookies? How can they find you all? Where are you guys located? So actually, the Mr. Chip Cookie Company is in the process of moving. Mr. Chip Glass bought a building, a rents a building. We started renting it in about November, and it's a very large building. And we decided to turn the other side of it into the cookie shop. We used to have a location downtown Flushing, and now we just moved a little bit up the street. It's not open yet, but we are still open for orders. So look us up on Facebook, Google, give me a call, and we can get you place an order for any kind of cookies you're looking for. Right. Well, and I know you guys were great. You donated a box of, I think a dozen assorted cookies to our quarter mini event as one of the auction items. And it was really popular. And I know I mentioned to you that I think the individual that won it shared it with their friends at their table and they all ate them all like even before they left. So that was, I think we're thankful for that. And I think that's something that you guys believe in too. Both businesses is being involved in the community, supporting groups. I mean, and that's where you mentioned you guys are in Flushing, but if I remember right, you're also involved. You come to our chamber events, other chamber events, but you're really involved, I think, in the Flushing Chamber of Commerce and I think Flint, Genesee as well. So what is that like for you in your role? Yeah. So right now we're involved in five different chambers, which gives us a chance to reach people and communities we may not have reached just being in Flushing. Yeah, I am in your chamber, of course, and I'm an ambassador for Flushing, and I am currently training to be an ambassador for the Flint and Genesee. But I really I think the chambers are great networking experiences, and you meet so many people and make so many connections that you couldn't have made without the chambers. Yeah. You know, I think one of um, my good friends or Grand Blank Chamber always mentions that's almost like a gym membership, that it's up to you to choose if you want to use your membership. Like much like if you use a gym and those results are based on your involvement. And I think you guys at Mr. Chips, I mean, your whole team, I see it so many different places. And I love that. I think it's a great business idea. Get involved in communities, get involved in chambers, just have a presence. But it's because you're getting to know the people that are around you, you create those relationships. And I think that really is a statement to what Mr. Chip Cookies and Windshield Repair is about. So, I mean, both businesses are family-owned businesses that cl clearly values community ties. How do you all ensure that the community spirit is reflected in your business practices? And how have you all seen this approach impact your customer relationships? Yeah, absolutely. We always try to be really involved in many community events, whether that's a donation, a sponsorship, or being vendors somewhere. I think our community spirit and it shines through naturally. But the first thing I do when approaching a new customer is try to figure out exactly what their needs are and how we can help them. And you may not think you may not think you need cookies or glass right now, and maybe you don't. But Mr. Chip Cookie does. Mr. Chip does so much more than that. You yourself might not need have a need, but your customers might. We offer chip repair fundraisers for businesses, schools, and nonprofits. Yeah, we really try to be involved in the community as much as we can, even not within just our own. We I'll go to Flint, Genesee. We go to Davison. I'll go to Grand Blank. We're in Swartz Creek. We want to be involved in all of the communities in Genesee County. Yeah, and I think those relationships probably repeat a little bit too. One for the cookie side. But I mean, for the windshield repair, now kind of explain that to me a little bit. I mean, you're, you all are having to deal with customers that are in need of something that's either on their vehicle or in their house or their building. Kind of, how does that process work? 
And how, if they, if someone gets a crack in their windshield or at their business, how can they, like, what's the phone number they can call you guys to get something scheduled? The phone number is 810-309-3309. And we are open nine to five, Monday through Friday. So call anytime, leave a message. We will always check the messages, even if we do not answer the phone, because there is only four of us that work in shop. And if I'm at a meeting and the boys are on a job, we may not be able to answer your call, but somebody will respond to your message as soon as possible. Um, the windshield repair process, and we also do um, residential glass now as well. So that whole process, we try to make it as simple and quick as easy for people because a lot of the time when people come to us, it's their first time getting a windshield replacement or having any kind of damage to their vehicle like that. And they don't know how the process works. So we try to explain to them how it works and how to help them. We do work with all insurance companies. So that's always an option for you. But sometimes with people's deductible, it's cheaper to pay out of pocket. And we just, we try to work with people. Like if you call me and you tell me, you know, you're on a fixed income, you're having a really hard time. I'm not going to let you drive around with a shattered window. We'll work something out for you. Well, yeah. And I think that's important too, that you emphasize, you know, willing to work with people. I mean, because you're getting people from all different backgrounds coming to you. And I mean, a, a rock doesn't uh, pick and choose whose windshield they're going to hit or, you know, when weather hits, like here, I think here in Davison with, you know, windows are being broken in businesses and homes. And so I think that's the great thing about you guys is being family owned. You guys work hard to create those relationships with people to make them feel comfortable in, you know, the questions they can ask. And like you said, this might be the first time they've ever had to do something like that. And you're there just to kind of, I feel like, educate them and say, hey, here's your options. You know, let's work together and figure out, you know, how can we get this fixed for you? Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that have no idea how it works. I mean, I didn't until a couple of years ago when I got a cracked windshield. And it, that was my first time. And so I think that's the value of a family-owned business and someone where they can see you all out in the community. And they see you part of events and chambers that they've created that relationship and they can see that Mr. Chips is everywhere. And I think that helps. Yeah. Yes. We try to get our logo and our brand out there and it's a pretty memorable logo and brand. It's a giant chipmunk. You know, <laughs> you can't miss it. So we really, when people think of Mr. Chip, they're either thinking of cookies or windshields or glass and of any kind. And if they don't know we do cookies or they don't know we do glass. They learn about it when they come in here and then they get the best of both because you can get some cookies at the same time while your windshield's getting replaced. Yeah. So now I'm going to jump into one of the things that I'm really excited about because I've had your all's cookies at several different events and they are amazing. And so I've noticed that your company offers custom printed cookies, which is quite innovative and I think it makes it really fun for that organization that has bought them from you. Can you tell us a little bit more about how the idea came about, how these treats are personalized to enhance a special event? Yeah, absolutely. So I think I mentioned earlier that we did start with just chocolate chip cookies to make for our clients at Mr. Chip Glass. And then, but it was it was truly Bill and Ellen's 16-year-old daughter, Lexi's idea. She wanted to start making cookies. And as entrepreneurs, Bill and Ellen saw this as such a bigger idea. Ellen has a background in printing. She works for Ads Plus and Flint Prints. Oh, yes. So they thought, why not make printed cookies? And it was truly an amazing idea. And printed cookies can be for any event. We can put anything you want on a cookie, whether it's your logo, a funny picture, or a sweet message. And if you don't have an image but you have an idea, we can help create that for you. Yeah. So I think I've watched a few of the videos you guys post on social, social media, and it's kind of interesting to watch how you guys do it. Kind of explain someone that's listening. How do you guys get an actual image of, say, a group's logo or, you know, maybe someone's like face for like an open house? Or like wording saying, you know, happy birthday to someone. How does that get on a cookie? Yeah, so we have a cookie printer. It's hooked up to a computer and we just upload all the images actually on Google Slides, believe it or not. And 
We change the shape of them there and we can transfer them into the cookie printer and change the coloring, how much ink we want to print out. It's not real ink, it's sugar. But, <laughs> and that's, it's, it's honestly kind of hard to, can, to explain it without showing it. It's a very cool process and I plan on making a video really going in depth on how it happens. But yeah, I mean, a cookie can print in like, a couple seconds which is pretty cool wow. like you think yeah. it take a long time they can print in a couple seconds it's just the drying process that's a little bit longer okay but the printing time is super quick and it's a really cool process i actually think i have a video on my on the facebook of us printing a cookie yeah so if someone is listening and like okay they're trying to plan something really fun for you know their seniors open house or if they have like a birthday party coming up, what I, I mean, they give you guys a call and what do you need from someone to create the image or the wording that they want on there? Like, do they work with you and say, hey, we want these colors? Like, how creative can someone be when they're giving you ideas? So, yeah, I actually worked with somebody not too long ago. They, it was a, just as an example, they wanted a, their friends were retiring and they ride electric bicycles. And she wanted me to find the exact image of the bicycle they use and put it on a cookie, make the background different, write their names, happy anniversary or what, happy retirement, sorry. And I it was able to download the image. I made the background, everything. Like if you explain to me your ideas, even if you don't have an image, we can make it done for you. Ellen is a graphic designer, so she is much better at it than I am, but any one of us can help create your image, whether it's a message, anything you want, we can do that for you. And I think that's fun too, just to think of the idea of the, the family values in this business and this idea formed and came about from their daughter. Yeah. Saying, hey, this is, could work for us. And now you guys have the technology to create it. Ellen is a graphic designer, which I think people should take advantage of because you can be creative. You can have some fun with those cookies that you want. Yeah, want for some type of celebration. And, and I, I think that is a lot of businesses that are either going to have like an open house or a ribbon cutting. This is a great idea. It's an easy thing. I know when I've been at events that have, have had your rolls cookies, I mean, they're individually wrapped, and it's a great way to grab a little treat to go that has the business's logo on it. And yeah, you're absolutely. sitting there, and I bring it home to my kids, and they can see it, and they'll ask, hey, where were you? And I can explain yeah. what I did. And I think it's a great way for businesses to promote themselves, too, is just get some fun cookies with your logo on it or your contact information. You know, it might be eaten later, obviously, but it is. It's such a great idea, and I think that just builds on the, the, the Mr. Chip's family values, you know, local business focus that it seems like you guys have. And I think you're, Olivia, I think it'd be great for people to check out because I know you guys are very active on social media. So what are you guys on? You guys are on Facebook. Do you guys do anything Facebook, else? Facebook and Instagram. It's Mr. Chip Glass Repair on Instagram and Mr. Chip Windshield Repair on Facebook. We're working and changing the name because we are rebranding ourselves, which we'll talk about in a minute. Ooh, but, nice. and then Mr. Chip Cookie Company is the same on both social medias. It's just Mr. Chip Cookie Co. Yeah. And can, can people contact you guys through those social media avenues too if they have questions or say, hey. Oh, hey. absolutely. I get messages on Messenger all the time and I try to respond to them as quick as possible. Yeah. And I think that's great for people to listen. Remember, it's, this is a nice, easy process for your family or your business. So, so Olivia, kind of talking about this, you know, it's. As we get into those warmer months and people are thinking, you know, open houses or just family get togethers or a business is going to have, a, you know, a picnic, a company wide picnic with summer approaching. Are there any special promotions or new products that businesses are that you're that the businesses are planning to introduce that align with seasonal events or holidays later in the year? Yeah, absolutely. So. I mentioned earlier that Mr. Chip Windshield Repair is no longer Mr. Chip Windshield Repair. It is now Mr. Chip Glass since we offer residential glass. That includes gla uh, insulated glass, 
screen and storm repair, glass cut to size, patio door glass, and just so much more. Um, I also mentioned earlier that we do offer chip repair fundraisers, and we plan to do a lot more of those in the spring and summer. It's so much easier to repair a chip outside when it's a little bit warmer and it's not wet. So we plan on doing a lot of pop-up events like that, so keep an eye out for those. And on the cookie side of things, we are currently in the process of moving the cookie shop, and we should be open in a month or two, so keep a look at that. And there may be some, I know there are some things new coming to Mr. Chip Cookie Co. I unfortunately can't share what those will be because it's top secret. But oh, man, soon- see, that's, this is where the fun of the podcast is supposed to like be news breaking. But I guess this is a reason for people to follow you guys on social media. I can give you a, a hint. Oh, we okay. We have <laughs> partnered with another company Oh, to make something else. That oh, goes see? with cookies. Okay. So now, now I'm just going to bug you every time I see you to say, okay, when's the countdown starting? When, when am I going to see that big announcement on social media? So it is. I think that's exciting probably for you guys too to think about, okay, we have a big announcement coming up and it builds people wanting to anticipate this and, and follow you guys on social media or like stop by and keep an eye on like when they're getting their cookies or their windshield repaired. Just to see what's going on there. Yeah, absolutely. The cookie shop, I will say, is very much under construction right now. I have had a couple people ask to look at it while they're getting their windshield repaired. And I have let them come in, but they 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 aren't they normally are like, oh and I say, Yes, it is it's under construction. But we are in the process of painting, ripping up flooring, really transforming this entire side of the building into something completely different yeah oh i mean I, I mean i think that's the fun and exciting part of i think being part of a small business is when something new is coming up or there's expansion yes it's an investment and there's always probably i'm sure kind of that worry but you guys have done a great job of being in the community creating those relationships that your customers will be excited. They're going to be there for you and ready to be the first ones in when that the new building opens up and you're ready to announce exciting things that are coming up. So I think that is one thing that Mr. Chips is just so good about is that they care about their customers. They care about the families that are in the communities and you guys are involved everywhere. I feel like I see you at every type of event and Ellen and Jim as well. So it is, it's that, that Mr. Chip's team is heavily invested in areas outside of their business just to create that, that recognition of the company, but then building relationships. Yeah, for sure. We really try to get out there and be involved as much as possible. And our customers, I mean, they keep us running. They keep us open and we truly appreciate them so much for that. Like the cookie side of things, we do have a lot more returning customers than we do for the glass and stuff, which makes sense. Totally fine. But we also really are trying to get into where we do cookies like once a month. Like, for example, Clearview, they order a lot of cookies from us for their customers. And we want to set up something where they have a set order once a month and they can just come give, pick up their cookies and they're always going to be ready for them. Same with luncheons and stuff. I've been trying to talk to some chambers about having us be their dessert sponsors. And I w- it would be a heavily discounted uh, dessert just because they would be supporting our business. And it would be a great way to get our name out there. Yeah. So now here is a really interesting question. Olivia, what is your favorite type of cookie that you guys have? Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. <laughs> Pressure's on say, now because your recommendations, um, everybody's going to want to hear your recommendation. <laughs> well, I have very good recommendations. I will say that. My favorite is the lemon white chocolate. And my second favorite is salted caramel. Oh. Both Two- really good. Yeah, I can say two completely different flavors, but they sound amazing. So oh, lemon white chocolate and salted caramel are crowd favorites. Yeah. 
Well, good. Well, Olivia, kind of fill us in again. Remind everybody, what is the best way to contact Mr. Chip Cookies and now Mr. Chip Glass? Yeah, so Mr. Chip Cookie and Mr. Chip Glass's phone number are very, very similar. So Mr. Chip Cookies is 810-309-3009. And then you can email us or send us a message on Facebook. Our email is mrchipcookies at gmail.com. And for the glass repair side, it is 810-309-3309. And you can message us on Facebook. You can send us an email at Mr. Chip Repair LLC, or you can schedule online at our web- website at Mr. Chip Repair.com. Well, good. Well, Olivia McCann from Mr. Chip's team, I appreciate you just taking some time to kind of educate us and fill us in on all the fun that you guys have over there. But the family investment in the communities and involvement. I look forward to seeing you all the time because you always have a smile on your face. You're excited to just be out in the community. And I really look forward to just seeing you at the next chamber slash community event. Yeah, same here. It's always a pleasure seeing you. And thank you for having me on the podcast today. 